Hi, I'm Lori Forster. And I'm Michael Forster. He cooks. And she wines. So what are we going to make in today's show, Michael? Today we're going to do one of your favorites, chocolate covered strawberries. Yum. Just a few things to go over first. Uh, I want to talk about your chocolate. You can buy chocolate in any different form. We have large blocks of chocolate. We have discs of chocolate. And then we have your classic Bats. chocolate discs or chocolate chips. Each one has a, is a different grade of chocolate. Okay. And each one has a different amount of cocoa in it, will make, which will make it either more bitter or sweeter. And I like dark, bitter, sweet. As so you that's know, what so. I'm always using. So what I ended up doing today was I used the Giardelli Semi-Sweet, okay. which is a good amount of cocoa, so it does have that cocoa bitterness, but it's not so over the top that Michaela won't like it. Yeah, that's our eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're going to do first is you're going to melt your chocolate. Okay, so, so how do I do that? You know I have trouble boiling water, so uh, you're going to have to show me how to melt chocolate. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your chocolate you're going to put it in a metal bowl, just right. enough so you can dip as many strawberries as you want. There's no real formula to it. Okay. Put it in a metal bowl and put it over a pot of boiling water. Hmm. Now, through the magic of TV, we have melted <laughs> chocolate. Um, Sipping it, wine during this is part of the process too, of right? Of course, of course. Okay. Now, the key to making great chocolate dipped strawberries is tempering your chocolate. Now what you want to do is you want to bring your temperature of the chocolate up to about 110 to 115 degrees. Then you want to bring it back down to about 84 degrees and then back up to 88 to 90 degrees. Hmm. It like sounds, sprints. It sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not that bad. You melt it so it's nice and fluid. You take it off the pot, you let it sit for about an hour. Uh, how can you let it then sit? Then you put it back <laughs> on the pot and bring it up so it's just nice and liquid, workable in your bowl. That's nice. Can you see it. that? Because it looks delicious. It's just I want to stick my strawberry chocolate. in there. <laughs> awesome. The other thing about chocolate is water is your enemy. You never want to put water near your chocolate. It'll make your chocolate seize up and you'll never be able to use it again. Mm. So I wipe down my strawberries. I do not wash them with water. Mm. And, then, and that's okay. There's no health issues There's with that. There's really no health issues. If you do wash them in water, which I don't suggest because they're very porous. They will absorb a lot of water and deaden the flavor. Um, if you do wash them with water, lay them out on paper towels and okay. let them dry completely. Make sure you don't have any leftover water on them. Great. So then it's just plain and simple. You take your strawberries by the stems, you dip it in your chocolate, go side to side, back and forth, as much chocolate as you want. Now, are these special strawberries that are for dipping or just your regular old? These are actually regular old strawberries that I got at the local supermarket. They okay. do have the long stem strawberries towards Valentine's Day in They're the a little uh, bit bigger. supermarket. Yes. They're a little bigger, but they don't have as much flavor. Oh, well, so, I like flavor. So, so. You, you're looking for the good flavor in the strawberries. Mm -hmm. So again, you're just going side to side, side to side, nice amount of chocolate, and what I'm doing is I'm laying them out on parchment paper. Hmm. It keeps them from cool. sticking to the pan. Uh, you can use the wax paper that you get in rolls at the store. They sell parchment paper in rolls as well. Wonderful. Now how long do I have to wait before I can dig into these? Now, with this tempered chocolate, you can sit these out on the counter and in about an hour, they'll be nice and hard so you can eat them. Hmm. If you don't have that much time, you can throw them in the fridge or the freezer. About 10 minutes, they'll be completely hard and ready to eat. All right. Um, the one thing I want to tell you about once they're done, you do not want to leave your chocolate dipped strawberries in the refrigerator. You really? I would do that. It's not going to go bad. Well, they have a shelf life, but no matter what, if you put them in the refrigerator, your chocolate's going to start weeping. And that's where you get the... These are supposed to make people happy. Right? You're going to get those little pools of water on the outside. All right. You don't really want that. So chocolate dipped strawberries, once they're dipped on the counter, they'll last two or three days. Not much longer than that. Seriously but getting hungry. In our house, we never have a problem with them lasting that long. That's true. 
While Mike is finishing up the strawberries, I thought I'd talk to you about what we're gonna drink with them because they're great alone, but they're even better with the right wine. So my favorite chocolate wine is called Banyuls, and it's made in France, in the southeast part of France, in a little region called Roussillon. And Banyuls is the area it's made in. This one's from Chapoutier and has a braille on the label, which is really cool. But what is Banyuls? It's a fortified wine, just like port. And what that means is while the wine is fermenting, this is made from the varietal Grenache, they actually add a brandy to it that stops the fermentation, makes the wine a little more alcohol, a little more oomph to it, but leaves sugar that never ferments. So it's a little sweet, but also a little stronger. But it has these very strong berry and uh, raisiny flavors that are such a great offset to the the chocolate covered strawberry. Now remember, you wanna make your wine sandwich too. You wanna to take a sip of the banules, take a bite of the chocolate covered strawberry, and then take another sip of your wine to see how the two go together. Kinda of just like us, honey. Just like <laughs> us. All right, it's been an amazing episode. Chocolate covered strawberries, we have our banules. Time to dig in. And I hope you'll tune in again to He Cooks. She Wines. Next episode, we'll get Mike's famous New York Reuben. Have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>